once again, uh, this is Ben from Backpacks and Brews, and we're here with yet another beer uh, for just a slight review. Uh, I'll give you my opinions and what I think about it. I'm just really fortunate to have tried a lot of great beers recently. Um, I just came back from Vermont uh, and New York, and so brought a few good beers with, back with me from there. And this one is one of them that I've been very excited to try, Mo from the Maine Beer Company. Um, I've had their Peeper Ale already, uh, which is American Pale Ale, very excellent. Um, this one is supposed to be their top-notch uh, APA. Um, I also have their um, IPA Lunch in my fridge, which I am very uh, excited to try. Um, but for right now, let's pop this one open and give it a try. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on, on the, uh, the label, which I really love. Gives you the ABV gives us the date, July 29th is when this was bottled, so it's about a month, which is which is still good, good fresh uh, APA. Um, tell us uh, a little bit about what they're about and when they started, and it says on both sides, it says, hoppy beers are meant to be drunk fresh, don't let this one sit. Let's pour this one out. Poured it pretty hard, not too hard. Not too hard, but we still came out with plenty of head, easily more than two fingers of head, um, with really nice tight um, bubbles that you can see on there, um, and really nice white, creamy, fluffy head on there. Um, the beer is a beautiful color. It's a really vibrant, light orange color, um, maybe like tangerine beautiful beer in the glass. There's some carbonation bubbles streaming up from the top. Um, not too many though, so let's get a good smell on this guy. That's good. That's good. There's um, an earthiness to, to Mo that I really like because it combines with the citrus. Um, I, I've read about Mo being, you know, another juicy pale ale and there's definitely some citrus. There's a lot of orange, orange peel. Um, maybe a slight bit of bitter grapefruit, um, but there's pine, and I definitely get some like grassiness, um, some herbal qualities to it that I really enjoy uh, in the smell. And let's see how it tastes. Wow. That, one of the first things I usually notice when I drink uh, a beer get that initial taste is, you know, I do get the taste, but I get the mouthfeel very quickly, and what I get from this right away is drinkable, drinkable, drinkable. I mean, 6.0 ABV is, is low. It's a session, in my opinion. Anything six and below could be sessionable. I really get drinkability right off the bat, which I really like, um, especially this time of year. You know, this has been the hottest week we've had this summer, and already almost September, but uh, that's what I look for uh, this time of year, especially when I want to get outdoors and come back home and have a nice beer. I want something super drinkable, super refreshing, and this is both of those. It's crisp, and it's dry off the back end, and immediately after I take this drink, I'm like, I gotta have another another sip. Like, it's, it's thirst quenching, but it wants you, it brings you back for more. I love that. I really love beers that the taste follows the nose perfectly, and this one does. Um, definitely has that um, grassiness, like strong grassy bitterness, earthy bitterness, uh, herbal kind of qualities to it. Uh, but it has that slight citrus from that orange, uh, orange peel, um, a little bit of grapefruit bitterness. And, but it's complex in the hops involved, um, but it's simple in its drinkability. And so I, I know I'm talking a lot about this beer. I really like this beer. Um, this is like a style that's right in my alley because it's a beer you can drink a lot of and not get tired of. Your palate doesn't get overwhelmed by it. Um, 
but it's still such an amazingly well-made beer and that um, Chaco agrees I think I'd have to give this a straight up A uh, it's 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 just it's a good beer. It's it's in being just a month old. I'm surprised at how green it tastes. Um, by that I mean just like fresh. The hops taste just like green, fresh, like straight from the vine. And so I'm really appreciating and loving that. Um, if I could get my hands on more of this, I would easily buy uh, many bottles of this. Unfortunately, we don't get Maine Beer Company here uh, in Tennessee. Um, I, I would definitely recommend this beer. Uh, it comes in a b bigger bottle, it comes in over a pint, um, just over a pint, uh, which is a really nice size after, I would say, after a really nice long run. You do a 10, a 12 mile run, come back, refresh yourself, uh, hydrate, and pop open one of these guys um, just before dinner, you'll be good to go. Uh, that's my recommendation. Um, so. You get your chance in your company.